<laughs> so, uh, double day practices today. Modified format, uh, trying to recover our team uh, for one more scrimmage um, in fall camp tomorrow, uh, kind of to welcome Thursday's heroes and make a special event for them to, to watch us with a little Thursday's hero re reunion happening after that. Um, so camp just continues, a lot of work. What did Jeff tell you about Adam Hogan? I'm not sure yet. Maybe a quad strain, maybe a quad contusion, um, but that's all I've heard to this point. So obviously not at the right position. We'll take um, recommendations or tryouts for any of you that might have some eligibility <laughs> that might be able to help us at corner. Um, so 3 o'clock today, report with your cleats out on the field, and we'll see what you look like out there. That was nice right what, there. what is the plan tomorrow as far as your on-field thing? Are you going to use your regular guys to scrimmage? No. Or? We won't use really har um, hardly any. So we were pretty limited the first one. This one will even be more limited than that. Um, I'd like to get some more live kicks, especially field goals. Um, Justin Sorensen is separating himself over the last couple of days, and so that gap is widening, not narrowing, and so he's doing a really nice job. But I'd like to see him more under pressure um, in the stadium with live rushes tomorrow. I'd like to see our punt game get some work. And then, um, again, we will probably make a lot of um, scout decisions and break up to work uh, after next Wednesday's practice. So this will have a lot to do with maybe some of the younger players and how we'll use them for the upcoming year. Bronco, without divulging strategy with this cornerback situation, are, are you going to have to protect that position? Yeah, I, I think certainly, man. We're, we're working hard in practice just to protect it now. We've modified formats in about every way possible with extending warm-up time, with adding treatment time, with adding different movement patterns, with less hitting, with being on the grass almost every day. And so, um, but certainly, with the depth issue um, and possibly schematic things, there there might have to be some consideration there. Three six uh, three six three maybe. Let's see three six three. <laughs> Does that equal six 11? backers on yeah. the field? <laughs> was Will Abate's kind of like a free thing because he just came out of nowhere and nobody touched him. Kind of fell it, down. Not only his, um, but Jordan Johnson's, and 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 I would say going back to Trenton Trammell, um, he was returning a kick on air and just planted and no one touched him. So, man, hard to figure out right now. How far are you away from looking at all at Virginia? And does looking at the first opponent that date change year ne to year? Next Wednesday. Um, I get bored before then, but also the players get bored in terms of urgency. So excluding my first year, um, I think we've been really well prepared for our opener, as well as um, our record after bye weeks is strong and our bowl game is strong. Mm -hmm. So we have a model that's pretty similar for all of those. And um, I think that's about what we'll do again this year. The tight end position, anyone emerging there? Not really, and the tight end position, it kind of depends which type of guy are you looking for. There's the mover, blocker, play action tight end. There's the little receiver-ish tight end, and then there's kind of a regular tight end. So those are all three different guys right now, and um, we have seven of them on scholarship, so I think we'll, we'll be well staffed. What about a buck linebacker? Is it Yeah, great, great, back? great battle. Um, Tyler Beck and Manoa, almost dead even. Um, with even a possibility of uh, Spencer Hadley mo possibly playing some buck because Alani Fua is playing so well at the outside. Um, so we have still quite a bit of time to determine which the best combination is. Tomorrow in the scrimmage we'll probably experiment with a few different things, excluding Spencer getting work. Um, we might uh, have different inside backer combinations being trained. How would you describe what Taysom has done over the past 10 months to get back to where he is? And consistency and hard work. Uh, and I don't think any of us will know, he or I, until we actually play. But I think the amount of work has gone in. I think his summer from uh, what he shared was really helpful. I think uh, the amount of classroom time and the amount of rehab and physical time is all gave him the best chance. And so I, I think, again, consistency and hard work to this point. Now, where the production is, once we start keeping score, I think we'll know that. Will you Mike Haig was running around a bit out there. Today. Yeah, Mike Haig will have a follow-up appointment with the doctor this upcoming Monday. And that'll give us a great idea of where he is and how he might be able to be used. And Mike can play boundary corner, um, possibly could be a, a decent field corner, um, used the right way, and he knows all the safety spots and nickel. So just having him back would give us really one more player at a bunch of different positions. So I hope that that's good news. And was Kyle, uh, we saw Kyle a little bit today. Was he playing a little bit yesterday too? Yeah, or? played a little bit yesterday as well as we're getting Kyle and Spencer Hadley both back um, in about what you saw today. Um, 
they're in the work. It's not all the way 100%, 85-ish, but um, they're progressing. 363 is 12. It'll work in the CFL. Model. I like that. I was yeah. trying to do the yeah. math, but then I got I distracted off. with your other questions. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Will you travel three QBs, and if so, has Jason Munn separated from Christian Stewart? We, we might even travel four. Um, if, if, for instance, if Jason Munns isn't the third quarterback, um, I would take him just for his commitment to the program. He's tried so hard, and and has had a really uh, unique set of circumstances here. So even if he wasn't the third, I would take him as the fourth. And with our some, with our unique signaling system, et cetera, sometimes it's good just to have an extra body to do that. Do you like the way the quarterbacks are spreading the ball around? It doesn't seem to be going to any one specific area. The offense in general is really difficult to defend. Um, it, it is, there's, essence, there's elements of option football. There's elements of BYU's old passing attack. And then there's some stuff in between. And, if you tilt your defensive strategy toward any one particular of those components, uh, you get big plays on you. So I think it's very effective, at least with us trying to defend it. Seems like a perfect time for your defense to have their hands full during fall camp. Then there's some a few question marks there. Yeah, and I would say hands full we have. I like our scheme. Um, I like our players. Still a few depth questions, and then we have to figure out our corner situation. And hopefully within two weeks we can get some bodies back and then decide what are the best combinations. All right. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Yeah.